Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to start looking at the IGCC ICT 2015 um, March edition of um, Paper 3.1. And um, we're going to dive into web authoring. I'll try to make uh, these videos as short as possible, but that means we'll cover a um, few steps in each um, in each uh, video tutorial. So let's get started. I already downloaded the files that I need for uh, this paper and um, I have my question paper uh, already here and I'll try to put um, um, a link just below this video where you guys can download um, a copy of um, the source files that you need to work on this paper. And then someone also requested I should also be including the files that I've worked on um, uh, on, on, on the videos um, that I'm, I'm doing. So what I'll do when I record the last video for this paper, I'll also put up a link uh, where you guys can get um, these files um, and then you can compare your work and all. All right, so let's get started. So um, I might say that um, from the, uh, there's somewhat some difference uh, between the um, 2015 papers and the 2016 papers in terms of um, the structure in which these questions are asked and all. Um, but the topics are the same and so we can still revise through um, the 2015 papers. They are not that much different from the 2016 papers. Of course, there are just a few things that are a bit different. Uh, for example, the use of the internet has, has been discontinued um, in the 2016 edition, uh, whereas in the 2015 it was allowed um, that you could use encyclopedia or the internet for a certain section of this exam. So um, take note of that. So you may not in this video i may use the internet for one or two things but um, in the 2016 papers you're not supposed to do that okay so let's get started so step one create a new uh, word process document uh, make sure your name center number and cut number appear in the header of each page of this document and save this file in your work area as m1531 underscore followed by your candidate number for example m1531 underscore 9999 so you will use this file later as your evidence document okay so let's go ahead and create that now we are going to create this file inside the work area so that um, so just go new and then new word document and then give it the name that um, you've been asked so the name is supposed to be m1531 underscore and then your candidate number so rename to m1531 underscore and then candidate number as usual go for 0 0 Zero 01 okay so open this file now and then we're going to insert in the header okay a blank three column and then insert uh, sign name Chikasa Evans and then um, ZM um, 556 and the candidate number uh, 0001 okay save it and let's go back to the question paper okay so done with step one um, step to ask us to download these files um, from this website, but I already have the files, so I'll skip step two and um, go to the scenario. So you work for a company called Hot House Design. You create a web page and edit a style sheet for a client called Back to Nature. Okay, so you may use an online encyclopedia or the internet to help you with task eight and um, task thirty one. Okay, so. Um, this means it's not compulsory, it's optional. If you know um, the, the tasks that have been asked of you, you don't need to use um, uh, the encyclopedia or the internet. So let's go to step three. So step three says create a web page called b2n.htm. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to use front page. Again, a number of you have asked me to use, um, to use uh, Dreamweaver and web expression and all. Um, but I'm going to stick with front page because it's readily available for me. And um, yeah, in, 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 in the papers to come, maybe the 2017 papers, I'll try to record them using Dreamweaver. Okay, so let's go ahead and name this. It's supposed to be b2n.htm. Okay, and we are going to save it in the work area. Okay, so mine is on the desktop and supposed to be March 2015 and there. Okay. Now, go back to the question paper. So it says this web page must work in all browsers and will have a table structure as shown. Uh, let me just put up the table structure. So it says um, um, the tab uh, table borders and grid lines must be visible and the table will be center aligned with the browser. So each table um, cell is identified with a letter and all dimensions are 
supposed to be in pixels so let's create a structure which looks uh, somewhat like this okay so you have you can count the number of rows that you have there's one two three four five six and the number of columns that you have you can count one two three okay so we, we're going to create a six by three um, table okay so let's go back here so go to um, table and um, insert table so we're going to make it six okay by three and um, there are other properties that we need to make sure that they are there we're told that the borders and the grid lines must be visible so make sure that the borders is set to one and then uh, at least one okay i know you can set it to two or st stuff but um, set it at least to one um then you need to make sure that alignment the step the step must be center aligned okay that's what we're told and um you can also have a look at um the table um, check that um, um, cell A, the overall uh, width is 700 um, um, uh, pixels. So that is the overall width. So we can go ahead and change this um, to make it um, 700 pixels. Okay, so don't worry about the height. The height, we can change it um, as we change the individual heights for uh, the respective cells. The same could have been said with the width, but I love to just set the width of the table um, initially when I create the table. Okay, so let's go ahead and say okay. And um, we are in code view, and this is where we are able to see this. So I'm, I'm going to change to design view. And um, so in design view, um, I don't know, we have two, this was 700%, not pixels. Let's go ahead and modify that. Um, this is 700%. Please change it to 700 pixels. Okay, and apply. And that should be good. So your table should look at uh, should uh, look more like this. Um, so now I want to create a structure that looks like this. Cell A is totally merged. Um, so let's merge cell A. So just select the cells there and merge them. And also take note that um, cell D has been merged from row B to row J. So take note of that as well. So let's go ahead and merge that. So it's from this. Um, to that and merge and then um, take note also of um, cell M you have um, um, the, f the last two cells uh, they have been merged so you can do that as well so this cell and this one have been merged okay so that should be fine so the next thing that we're going to do now is to assign the dimensions to this table um, so what we're going to do is to uh, um, set first of all the property for cell A. So let's do that. So cell A is this one. We told it's supposed to be 700. Um, so go to table property, rather cell property, not table property, because you are modifying the individual cell. So go to cell property and um, specify the width is supposed to be 700 in pixels and the height is supposed to be 150. So say OK. OK, that looks good. Um, the next properties that we are going to um, to work on are um, B, um, C, all the way to J, K, and you notice that all of them they are 200 by 200. So these can be uh, worked on all at once. Why do I keep on coming to this screen? Okay, so let's go here. Um, so it is this um, these eight cells and we can select them all at once and right click and go to cell property and assign them the same um, values okay so 200 by height also make it 200 pixels and say apply okay so that looks good um, the next one is supposed to be the 300 by 800 which is cell D so cell D is, which is this one this one actually make it um, cell property um, make it 300 by 800 the height okay say okay and then um, we need also to modify um, L and M so L is 200 by 150 and um, M is 500 okay so we can go ahead and do that so if you want, you can set um, 
you can set first of all the height for both since they share the same height so you can go to steel property and set the height to be 150 for both of them and then go ahead and set the um, the width for each one of them okay so the width for this one is supposed to be 500 okay and um, for this other one um, the width is supposed to be 200 okay 200 and that's it okay so we are done with the table structure and um, the next thing that we're supposed to do now is to just um, put in some items in this table so I'm gonna stop this video just at this stage and um, I will um, I will continue in the next video with step number four uh, where we're going to start inserting um, the images okay so thank you so much and I'll see you just in a short while in the next video